along with us and enjoy the great outdoors in the state of Texas. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, brought to you by Lone Star National Bank, the city of South Padre Island, Texas, Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center, Mayak Boats, Jim's Pier, Pro Valley Food. And select properties. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. It's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Enjoy Doug and all of his adventures that he does. My goodness, what what do you not do? Not I much. I don't know. Anything's fun. <laughs> Anything it is fun. fun. No, I mean we're here. We're here at the lodge, and the lodge is so peaceful. It's it's just a gorgeous place to come in and just kind of enjoy yourself. Go hunt. Go fish, and come back and you're even the chef, and you have fabulous a chef here meals too. and yes right? and. So many large rooms, y'all can just sleep and then wake up in the morning and go fish or hunt again. Now, you do a cast and blast. I know that we did the we did the birds last time and we talked about this blast. That's right. And we are here today doing that. You want to tell us a little bit more about it? Sure. So, uh, in, I think it was May or June, I, I said we got something special where the seagulls work over the tailing pods of trout and redfish we did that and I was telling you at that time that in the fall uh, the migrating white wing into our sunflowers is special as well and I, I think uh, your guests will get to see a phenomenal shoot this afternoon we're gonna go out um, every bird feeds in the morning not every bird feeds in the afternoon so the afternoons a little slower but there's still gonna be plenty of birds Give you an opportunity to practice. Yes. And yes. I'll give you a few pointers. Really lots of practice. And then uh, <laughs> because the next morning, it's a little bit overwhelming with the numbers of birds. So um, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna shoot those birds, and I believe we'll go through uh, uh, the cleaning of it and some of that that most people don't get to see. And, and you know, the other thing is to remember that we do a cast and blast through the lodge. You can also call us to book a day hunt, or you can call us to do what I call a sportsman's day, which is for people staying in the valley that don't want to stay at the lot, we'll fish the morning, hunt the afternoon, and it's a full day of everything, so, um, and then uh, they get to do a full day without having to go through staying at the lodge, and it's a lot of fun. We always have an adventure. Right, and you don't have to stay here, but, you don't have to, but it's, we, it's really nice. We have it available, to stay and, here. and we yes. guarantee. We've got all this excitement going on. Let's go shoot some birds, no? Let's go practice. Let's go. All right, you got it. Again, lead it more. Lead it more. So you were behind oh. it. All three shots, you were way behind the bird. You got him! You got that one right there. Somebody got that one. Where'd he go? Dead bird. Oh, you shot it, not me. No, I didn't shoot it. No, I know I missed. That wasn't even 
Dead bird. Nice shot. Coming over, Vicky. Literally. Literally. Oh, you hit it! That's yours! Oh, you got it! Good job, Ruth. In the road. That counts as in the road. Watch that bird, watch that bird, watch that bird. Got it. Running on empty here. Boo hoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Limited out, huh? Almost. One more bird. Oh. Hey, everybody. We are out hunting with Casa Royal with Doug Duncan, and let me tell you. I did a lot of practicing today and I think I I think I limited out. You did awesome. <laughs> you followed with, instructions. With, with Doug training me, <laughs> training me how to fish, training me how to how to hunt, my goodness. And look what we got. We limited out and Robert Willisley de Solis, he's he's we like did awesome today. <laughs> all these white wing out here. Yeah. It's freaking awesome, Doug. But how you do know, you do it? We do this every day during the season. We, we, we specialize in making sure we have white wing, not dove, for our hunters. And uh, you know, it's, I'm trying to get you ready for tomorrow morning. I've been telling you, I'm gonna show you something extremely special. I'm like excited. when we fish the birds in May or June, and you didn't listen, but you listened today. <laughs> uh, you you got listen. on the bird. We're ready to shoot tomorrow. Yes, I'm this telling was a, this you, was you're gonna see a flight of birds that most people will never get to see. It's going to be really special. I'm excited. I can't I wait. I guarantee you're going to see 20, 25,000 birds in front of you oh tomorrow. Oh my God. Be fabulous. I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. So we're going to clean these up and we're going to wrap them up. And we're, I think you, you put them on the grill, don't you? Oh yeah. We, I'm, we're going and to get you, them all ready for grilling. And, and you do right now we're going to learn how to plug. I'm going to uh, watch you plug birds. Plug? <laughs> going to be just, great. Don't we just like, like kill them off and just no. plugging? No. <laughs> I'm show you the right okay, way. okay, good. Well, I can't wait. So tomorrow we'll be back. And, In the morning. Yes, okay, so we'll be right back. Texas Outdoors Lifestyle. Get you some. Don't go away. We'll be right back after a word from these fine sponsors. Just like every building needs a strong foundation, the same is true for Lone Star National Bank. The strength of our roots is what transforms plans and ambitions into reality. Having a strong foundation gives us the strength to change lives, to transform communities, and to build for generations to come. At Lone Star National Bank, we believe in creating lasting relationships with our customers, one generation at a time. For 35 years, Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's Bank. Welcome back to Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. All right, Vicki, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to pluck birds, not breast them. <laughs> Wing, thumb and forefinger, grab the feathers. Wing. Thumb and forefinger, there you go. You're just going to clean the body, not the wings. Not the wings. All right. And why not the wings? Because we're going to cut those off. So you're just going to do that. The legs, because we keep the legs. These white wing legs are awesome. Pull I'll show off. you. We actually cook the white wing legs, so. Right, you're gonna kind of clean that body. You cook the white wing legs? Pitch it, yes, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. 
Pluck, pluck, pluck. Pluck. And Just it, grab them, thumb and forefinger. And, roll and, that bird around. And how come you don't breast them? Because uh, when you breast them, you lose. Look here, I'm gonna show you right now. This bird's a migrator. How do you know it's a migrator? You see that yellow fat? Mm -hmm. See the yellow fat? Mm -hmm. That's their gas tank. He's wow. ready to migrate. Right, the next cold front, this bird will be gone. That fat is a lot of flavor in the bird. When you breast the bird and you take that skin off, you lose all that flavor in the bird. Is that good? That skin also helps hold the two halves together when you fillet it. See, look at the difference. So you can stuff it with jalapeno and cheese. And this leg right here, there's two good bites there and I'll show you that a little later. Hmm. So the October birds, which we're shooting now, mid to late October, are way fatter. They're a solid third bigger than opening day birds. They're a lot younger. Um, these birds are ready to migrate. They're matured up. They're ready to go and they're way bigger. And we saw some today that were as big as pigeons, didn't Oh, we? I know, they were huge. Awesome. Hey, so I hear the national or the average of bullets to bird is like seven and a half bullets to every bird. How did you do today? I saw um, a lot of casings. Well, I, I, I shoot every day. Okay. I've been in it for 45 years. Okay. Dove, ducks, geese, quail. Uh, my average is a little bit different, but I wouldn't find that hard to believe. Uh, you know, the bullets are cheap, and this is a great way to practice. I mean, you come out here to our fields, and you're going to get all the practice you need, and that's how you learn, right? Pull he still the didn't give us an answer. Pull the trigger, and he still didn't give us an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so my answer to you is I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about one and a half shots per bird. Did you get that? One and a half per bird. Did you get yeah, that? Yeah, I shoot about. Oh, I got it. Oh, good. To get my 15 birds, I probably shoot about a box, maybe a box and a half on a bad day. No, check, check this out, Ruben. But these are these are duck, right? No, these are all white wing. These are white wing. These are white wing I've killed since I was no. a child in Mexico, Texas, no. everywhere. That's a lifetime. There's about two ducks on there, but the rest of them are all white wing. Dang, that is, that is a trophy. I have ducks, I have geese, they're in a drawer. Anybody can get those, you can buy them online. These are personal to me. So shooting a white wing with a tag is a big deal to me. I love it. My grandfather got me started. He's the one like, if I breasted these birds, my grandfather would roll over in his grave. Why? Uh, well, because you breast pluck your birds, you get the legs and the breast and the skin, and you don't waste as much fur. And once you start to pluck birds and learn how, it doesn't take that long. 15 birds, doesn't take very long, and it's just, you know, relaxing. The end of a hunt, I generally pick my birds while I'm shooting. So when I get back to the truck, I'm pretty much done plucking. Look at this bird, Ruben. Just plum full. Sunflower. Sunflower? Um, they're not the seeds that you would eat. Uh, they're a different kind of sunflower seed. Uh, high oil content. And that's what the white wing want. That's what gives them. Are we taking this out? I'd like for you to notice another thing. He's in chanclas. <laughs> I like to rough it when I hunt. <laughs> and he fought the alligators in the chunklas. That's, uh, that's why I drop him by the truck, so I don't have to walk out in the field. <laughs> okay, we're done with the plucking, so now we're gonna do the getting. We're gonna show you why we pluck right now. So, pretty simple, we're gonna clip off a wing. A wing, we're gonna get the head up against the breast. So the whole reason behind this is to save the skin around the meat and the legs. The legs have a lot of meat on a white wing. They're smaller on a dove, right? Both sides of the spine, gut, and then there's the whole bird, right? Mm-hmm, put it in the water.
Good. Holy cow. <laughs> It's day two on the Texas Outdoor Lifestyles with Doug Duncan from the Casa Arroyo. And oh my God, we're seeing so many white wing out here already. It's not even, what, 7.15? 7, 7, almost 8. Oh, well, we've been out here filming for a while. But um, anyway, tell us about what you do, Doug. So uh, part of our casting blast at the Casa Arroyo, we fish the mornings, hunt the afternoons, or we could switch it hunt the mornings, fish the afternoons as a cast and blast package. Staying at the Casa. The morning hunts are special because for years I've said, every bird feeds in the morning, not every bird feeds in the afternoon. And as you can see by the numbers of birds around us, and they're just getting started. Yes, they're we like have, everywhere. We have tons of birds. The late season, October, white wing hunting is fabulous. The birds are bigger. Um, they come from the north. These birds came in for the last front. And I would guess there's probably going to be about 20, 25,000 birds out here today. And I wanted you to have the opportunity to see this because most people don't get to. No, this is, this is awesome. This is awesome. Thank you, Doug, for having us out. And remember, if you want to hunt, if you want to fish, Doug is your man at Casa Arroyo. All the information is at the bottom of our screen, so please call him. You don't want to miss this opportunity. We'll be right back. Don't go away. We'll be right back after a word from these fine sponsors. Trust and integrity form the foundation of Lone Star National Bank. With respect, we build strong relationships with our customers. We've seen our cities grow and our communities thrive. Working hard to earn the right to serve our customers for generations to come. That is how you build a strong business and how you build a strong bank. For 35 years, Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's Bank. luxury boat on the water. Welcome back to Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. Everybody wants to flock shoot. It's real important that you zone in on one bird. It's going to be hard, but you need to pick one bird. And that's the bird you're shooting and blank out every other bird around. Okay. So get your bird. Coming over your head right here. Great shot, Vicky. Go get your bird. Get your bird. Did Turn I your shoot back. that? Of course you did. Or you shot that. No, you shot it. First bird of the day. Well, actually, second. I gotta go get my other one.
Drop it. Hit him again. <laughs> there you go. I just didn't want you to have to go too far to get up. Yeah. The Northern's supposed to come in about nine o'clock, so we came in early to get this hut done just for you guys. After this, the birds are gonna be gone. Holy cow, they were everywhere. Good etiquette for all hunters. Pick up your shells when you're done. Another baby down. Yeah, here goes Before. one. Woo, bird down. I, I helped you. Yeah. <laughs> Try. I'm your backup, Doug. You are. <laughs> you are. In case I need more shells, I got to go get them. <laughs> Guys, yeah. Clean birds. Yep. Let's go. Yeah, because the flight's over. Look at that. Look how that look how that seal does the job. Remember there was a yeah. thousand out there? That was an awesome hunt, guys. Awesome hunt. Don't go away, we'll be right back after a word from these fine sponsors. We're here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center, and we're here with Alan and Edna, and we're gonna like showcase a few of the really, really cool campers and everything else that they have here. It's like my Disney World <laughs> of the outdoor world. Welcome back to Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. Okay, well listen guys, we are back at the Casa Arroyo and oh my goodness, there were birds everywhere. Um, yesterday, there were birds, yep. but this morning, holy cow. And I, I, it was hard for me to it's get it. It's overwhelming. <laughs> You don't know which one to aim at. I get it. I get it. But but I was your backup, right? You were a great backup. You were I was great your backup. backup. I was your backup. Listen, if you guys want a bird hunt, if you guys want any kind of hunt, fishing, what all do you do again? Because well, we do, uh, we obviously the fishing down uh -huh. here, but bird hunting, we do uh, the white wing also coming up in a couple of months is a cast and blast for ducks. Woo! We're gonna we do, do ducks. We're gonna do the ducks. Uh, and then we do big game. We have uh, eight ranches in the area within an hour drive. We have all kinds of exotics, nil guy, regular South Texas game, big deer, turkey, hog. So wow. uh, we, we have it all. I mean, we, we, we're connected with everybody. And, and you know, and again, we just, we guarantee whatever you're after, we're gonna get. That's awesome. And again, you you can book a, a day hunt or you can book a day a day fishing trip. You don't have to stay at the lodge, but the lodge is awesome. The to lodge stay is at. it. If you want full service meals, lodging, yes, hunts, yes, everything yes. included in one price, we can accommodate anywhere from four to twenty five people at the wow, lodge. Wow, that's awesome! And it's a beautiful place, guys. Um, I love it here. I think I I, I think we we um we we could live here. <laughs> <laughs> We can live here. We'll figure that out. <laughs> yes, and also, um, you have.
have a special way of cooking up these birds? We do. I've been doing it forever. Uh, our cook here at the lodge, if, if the clients like, I do it for myself personally, but um, what we do is, you know, we salt, we pick the birds, we clean the birds, and we keep the skin on them. So we make a little foil pan that you can fold this up and, and cook the legs on your grill wow. while you're cooking these uh, bacon wrap, jalapeno cheese stuff. Thank you so much for having us again. You're We're welcome. really excited about being here and, and, and we are so grateful. I'm ready for a cast of last duck. Season. I know, I can't wait. So you're going to call we'll us We'll have to one. get you some We're food We're going to have a good show. Oh, I know. Because they look I so know. good. <laughs> and the landowner, you are going to That's right. I want to give a big uh, kudos to my lifelong friend, Rick Guerrero. The land we were hunting is about 25, 30 minutes from the lodge. Very convenient. He's done a tremendous job of turning this piece of land, he has 135 acres under sunflower. Mm -hmm. The palapas that you see set up, the way he keeps it clean, it's organized awesome. as much. Yes. Um, it's, it's one of the top places to hunt the San Felipe Ranch down here in South Texas. Yes, yes, so remember, if you guys want to book your hunt, contact Casa Royer's Sporting Lodge. Doug Duncan, all the information is at the bottom of the screen. You won't be disappointed. Have a good day, we'll be right back. Get you some. Guaranteed. <laughs>